let's bring in hope this doesn't fall. Okay, so, um, hello there people from Out of This Binary. My name is Paris, in case you don't remember me. Um, I'm new to the channel, last week was my first video and, oops, I don't want this to fall. I should put something in here. Okay, nice. Um, anyways, today's topic, I mean, this week's topic is family and our relationship with our families. And I don't think I have much to say about my family. Um, let's start with the basics. Um, there's my mom and my dad. They're together, but they're not married and they pay everything separately and we keep lots of secrets from my dad because there's lots of stuff that my dad doesn't need to know <laughs> um then there's my brother that's 17 years older than me and he's married and i have a nephew and two nieces and my brother is like my second father and he sort of raised me in what was religion for me and my um faith and religious influences and stuff um so in what concerns to being out i am not out to any of my family members my mom knows i am gay um but she doesn't know that i am gender fluid um neither that's my dad. My dad doesn't know that I'm gay and he doesn't need to know. That would be awful. Um, my brother and my sister-in-law now know that I'm gay, but it's been hard for them. And this is like new to them. They just found out like probably a month ago. And since I don't live with them, I live in another country. They don't, um, we don't have like a way, a direct way to deal with that. Um... That's it. Um, why am I not out to my family? Um, my mom is very supportive. Um, she knows the person that I'm dating now. Um, she likes her a lot. Um, she loves her. She cares about her. And my mom is really accepting. And she loves me no matter what. But the things that... I don't think that it's necessary to come out to my mom. Because I don't think she's going to understand the whole non-binary gender fluid stuff because for her it was even hard to understand what being bisexual meant so i think that it's something that i don't want to put her through and we have come to terms with what is my gender expression and i think that's what's most important for me now like i don't care if she knows that i'm gender fluid or not as long as she's okay with me Dressing the way that I dress and expressing myself the way that I do, I feel fine and I feel comfortable with myself. Um, and also because I don't go by a name that's not mine, um, I do over the internet. That's the name that I feel comfortable with people calling me on social media and stuff, but... In real life, I just go by a nickname that comes from my name. And my mom knows that I don't like my full name, so she respects that. And she calls me by my nickname, so that's nice. And in what pronouns concern, um, in Spanish, we don't have a gender neutral pronoun, which is what I mostly go by. And I can stand going by female pronouns, so it doesn't really bother me and now that I don't live with her or just like with my family in general now that I don't see them and I don't have to like stand every day damn like misgendering me or saying that I'm a girl or I'm a woman or stuff um it's not important to me anymore um what I think it's important to me and this is what I want to focus on right now. And this topic is what's family of choice. Because I don't live with my parents. I don't see my brother or my sister-in-law. 
I live in another country, I live in the US, and they live in Chile, that's South America, so um, it's really important for me to have a family here, and I have a cousin here, but we don't have a great relationship, so I feel supported and loved, but what I called my family of choice, and that's what now, they're my roommates. Um, I'm not actually living here. I actually have a contract somewhere else. I'm just staying here for a while. But they are my family. And these people, we act like a family. We have family dinners. That's my girlfriend. And we act like the kids. And it's funny because like the other roommates, we care about everyone. And our friends, they are always in this apartment. It's so fun. Like, they don't even knock the door. They just come in and we have fun. And we... I don't know, we're a family, like, there's the cousins and the aunts and, and how <laughs> her mom or mama gay and grandpa and stuff, and it's, I don't know, I think it's so fun, like, we are able to love ourselves and support all of us as a family, and for us, like, having dinners together is really important for us, like, when some of us have a breakdown, it's really important too take care of them um it's really important that we don't let ourselves be alone we always try to be with someone um because of some stuff that has happened here um and i love them i love my family of choice um i think that even if we don't have a good relationship with our family or even if we don't live with our family it's really important for us to build this circle or a support group, or people that we love and care about, that we can call our family of choice, and I don't know, that's why I think it's important, like, my friends for me are my family now, and they love me, and they support me, and they really care a lot about not misgendering me, and asking me what I feel comfortable with or not and for example like even my girlfriend um she's not new to like the whole not my near stuff but I think that I was going by she her pronouns for a long time and now I'm going by they them mostly I still feel comfortable with she her sometimes but like I'm gender fluid I tend to change my pronouns um <laughs> but she's been getting great at it and my other roommates they knew that I was gender fluid but they didn't know about the pronouns so I told them and they respect them and that's fun and they don't call me a girl they call me human a person and I think that's really nice and they care about I don't know just like me feeling comfortable in what my gender is and my identity is and everyone in this apartment is somewhere in the LGBTQ spectrum, like, microphone's gay, um, <laughs> of course, uh, the other girl that's downstairs, um, she's, like, gay and demisexual, like, somewhere in the gray scale, and we have another roommate, um, she's experimenting with gender, like, demigendering gender stuff, um, and she's, like asexual slash pansexual and yeah <laughs> um anyways i think i'm like just like ranting a lot anyways that's what i wanted to say like even if you don't have a good relationship with your family because of all the stuff that may be going on in our life um even if it's not related to gender identity or sexual identity um just know that you can always choose your family. Even if it's not like biological family. You can always choose who you want as family. And I'm sure they're going to accept you and support you and love you no matter what. Like, that's what happened with me. Anyways. Enough of this nonsense talking. Nonsense talking. There you go. I am going to go now. And I hope you have a lovely week. And I'll see you next week. Okay.